Let's do this. I'm going to preface this video by saying this is not for the faint-hearted or those people that love their camera lenses. Because yes, I'm disassembling it. So when I was filming the footage of me building the boat step dock, uh, I was welding a bunch of the pipes together. And I was using this new lens, but I hadn't yet bought a filter for it. And I was too close to the welder and I got a bunch of weld splatter on the glass. So the front lens group of this lens ended up getting pitted and the weld splatter melted the glass itself. So I found myself somebody that was willing to uh, uh, dig up another front lens group and let's replace it. that just came off is really just glued on so it's easy to just get that small screwdriver in there and lift it right off. Now I'm unscrewing the screws that are holding the front lens group in place and what you'll notice is some of the screws are in a notch that's angled. Those are the ones that are going to actually lift off this uh, ring and those are the ones to focus on first. After you remove this second set of screws, which are actually a little bit larger, then the lens group comes right off. Now there's a whole bunch of pieces in here. There's two gold rings that you see. They're actually very thin and there are two of them stacked upon each other. There's also a silver one that sits on top and then you saw me wiggle that little spring. It's a sort of inner ring that's bent and that's what keeps the lens at the right distance there's a little notch in there that's sticking up. So it's easy to get that alignment just right. And once it's aligned right, and all of those little shims are in the correct spot, the screws do just drop right in. Getting the orientation for the plastic ring is a little trickier because it does have a single alignment where all of the screws, all of the notches, angled or straight, line up just right. And there is only one orientation for this and nothing that sort of notches it into place in an easy to understand way. You just have to keep looking at it until you realize everything is lining up properly. Dropping the plastic ring back on it is straightforward as long as you haven't ruined the adhesive behind it. It is a little delicate to uh, try to get it to seat all the way around. And obviously I do recommend putting a filter on. <laughs> 